Hi, friends. Welcome to It's G and Me. I'm Miss G, and I'm super excited, like I always am, for our story today because it involves science. Now, before we get into the science part, I want you thinking about looking at the front cover. What is the story going to be? There's a little girl, there's a bird, there's a butterfly. It's by Henry Cole, our author. And the story is called On Meadowview Street. So I want you to keep in your head what you think the story is about. If you have no idea, that's okay. But I like if you take a guess because that helps with the story. And now here is our title page. And here's the story. Now let's take a good look at the picture so you can have an idea of what's happening in our story. Good look, good look, good look. Excellent. Okay. It was a big day. Caroline and her family were moving into their new house on Meadowview Street. So they are moving. Have you ever moved? If you haven't, that's okay. Moving can maybe be a little fun sometimes, maybe not, but we all have to do it at some point. After things were unpacked, Caroline's dad decided the grass was too tall and got busy mowing the lawn. That's a mower and that cuts the grass. Caroline was about to explore the new street to see if there was a meadow on Meadowview Street when she noticed a small blossom. It's beautiful, Caroline said to herself, and all alone. The mower was getting closer. Caroline thought, I'd better do something quick. What do we think is going to happen if that mower cuts grass? What do you think? The mower came to a halt. Daddy, Caroline pleaded. Could you mow around my flower? Hmm, he said, thinking, well, that's just less mowing for me. So daddy was happy about it. Caroline raced inside the house. She poked around the boxes in the basement. Aha, she smiled, some strings and some sticks, just what I need. What do you think she's got? What she's going to do with those things, huh? Before long, Caroline had made a small wildflower preserve. Look at that, my friends. She built a fence around the flower. Then she noticed another flower had bloomed nearby. So a preserve, my friends, is somewhere that's protected in area. So she's protecting the flower and its area. And she sought another one. So she started building a wild flower preserve around both flowers to protect it. That's what it means. Her preserve got bigger and bigger and bigger. That butterfly seems to like my little garden. Caroline thought happily. It's getting really big, friends. As the grass grew taller, more flowers popped up all over the yard. Soon, there were different kinds in different colors everywhere. Look at all those flowers, friends. Caroline's dad had a great idea for the mower. For sale. He's like, I'm done cutting that grass. One day, Caroline sat in her preserve in the heat of the sun. My garden needs a shady spot, she said to her parents. A shady spot sounds nice, replied Caroline's mom. Soon, a truck made a delivery. Caroline's mom took pictures. Welcome to your new home, said Caroline on 
uh, to the maple tree. There she goes, talking to the maple tree. So now her preserve has a maple tree in it. The next day, as Caroline admired the maple tree, a wren landed at the end of her shovel. Oh, you're looking for a home, too, said Caroline. Now, if you don't know what a wren is, let's get real close to that. Can you see it? It's a type of bird. If you call that out, excellent. Good job. Good notice. Caroline and her dad got to work. They found some plans for building birdhouses. Caroline helped cut the wood and nail the pieces together. Wow. I've never even done that, friends. I've never worked with wood. Have you? That seems like fun. Look, there she is coloring. There she is hammering. And now there's the birdhouse. Perfect, thought Caroline. So did the wren. Now remember, wren means a type of bird. Wow, look at the preserve now. It has Caroline, it has a butterfly. Tell me what else you notice. I see a bug. Look at all the different things in her preserve. In no time, there were birds and insects everywhere around the tree and zipping around um, the flowers. Soon the wren house was full of twigs for a nest. Caroline wanted one more thing. We need a place where everyone can get a drink of water. So now you see all the different bugs. There's dragonflies, there's birds, and now she wants them to have water. Page is a little hard to turn. The next day, she and her dad began building a pond, a whole pond in their backyard. Wow. They dug a large shallow hole and lined it with a heavy plastic sheet. Caroline added plants that like living in water. She lugged large rocks to the edge making ledges and little caverns for creatures to live in. Whoa, look at that, my friends. See, that pond came out nice. And there goes those plants that can live in the water. And all those rocks, that means other insects could live there too. Whoa, look at that. There's Caroline and her friends. Look at, there's the pond, there's the tree. Whoa, there's even more birds. Is that another pond too? Wow, look at all that, friends. The more Caroline and her family worked on their yard, the more it changed. It was now a home to many things. There's all sorts of things in this pages. If you buy this book or if your parents buy this book, you can get real close and see all the different things. Look, there's her preserve there. And soon the Jackson's yard started to change and the Smith's and the Sotos. So they all started changing their backyard to look like it. Now, these are all the things that were inside her backyard. And I'm going to get, try to get really close so you guys can see it clearly, okay? Now, there really was a meadow on Meadowview Street. A meadow has different animals and insects in it. So we got a ladybird beetle, a swallow, that's a type of bird, salamander, monarch calipiters on milkweed leaves, a bee, ooh, a cornflower, a beetle, a mud turtle. She even had turtles. 
Look at that, friends. What do you think that is? A brown bat. She even had bats in her meadow. A dragonfly, a hummingbird, a house wren. That's the original bird that was in her meadow. Black eyed Susans. That's a type of flower that has a black middle. Ooh, Milo. I think that has something to do with marshmallows, but I'm not sure. <laughs> Small copper butterfly and bee balm. That's the type of uh, flower. Green snakes. She even had snakes in her backyard. Wolf spider. A skink. Look at that skink. That kind of looks like um, a salamander a little bit, right? It's probably a type of lizard. And meadow mouse. So she had mice in her backyard too. These are all wild animals. These are all animals that like to live in uh, habitats, which is a home, a type of home that doesn't, um, that uh, people, <laughs> that people don't take care of, right? She she preserved it. She took care of it, but she let everything grow. She didn't mow the lawn. She didn't give it like pet food. She just let it grow and let them come and live in their habitat, which is another word for home. And a home for everyone. Look at that, my friends. Now, they even have babies and baby birds. The end. Look, now everyone has a meadow in their backyard. They all copied her. <laughs> all righty, friends. That was a longer book, but it was so cool to watch. And hopefully, maybe you can start observing different animals in their preserve or habitat. Uh, thank you again. Subscribe below so that the videos can pop up on your screen. Love you guys. See you next time. Bye.